Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Tanya, and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. This video is going to be an unboxing of a haul of everything, and like I mean everything from Ulta to Sephora to Holt Look to like ordering directly from places like BH Cosmetics and everything in between, a Nordstrom, I mean, uh, it's just a whole lot of everything. So we are just gonna jump right into it because there's a lot to get through. So right off the bat, like I mean, this box weighs so much, I can't even tell you how much it weighs, and there's actually products that are beside it that won't even fit in the box, that's how much there is. So I'm gonna just like, pull everything out so I don't miss anything here and then I'm just gonna start piling it down there so I'm just gonna get like the basic stuff out of the way that isn't even fun but what's it's good so I still want to make mention of it so you guys are aware I uh, I love picking up the Ulta sensitive skin makeup remover wipes and they come in that box but they remove like that so it's easier now these are really great if you are a youtuber who's doing a lot of swatches because if you're like constantly swatching your arm your arm does get raw so these are really great because they're at least hydrating as well and when you're i even find these are great for removing all of that fallout in between like filming and doing you know your eyes and then going off camera because it is for sensitive skin and they are affordable and when you're hammering out that many tutorials and swatching that many things and doing like the little mini review videos like these are just really great wipes to have on hand so I love these and I also love the Ulta micellar water makeup removing makeup remover cleansing pads these are phenomenal they are really really like little pads and these ones are awesome for like precise cleanup because they're just pads they're not a big wipe up so when i was going through the battle series of the liquid eyeliners these help me so much to try to clean up the mess of the liquid eyeliners that were the atrocious ones because they were little, I could wrap my finger around it and then just try to clean it up. And so I love these whenever I need to do like a precise cleanup or just a quick cleanup rather than wasting an entire big cloth. So these ones are really awesome and both of them are non-eye irritating and my eyes get irritated very easily and they're Ulta so they're really affordable drugstore brand they're awesome my new shampoo obsession is that chlorine ultra nourishing shampoo cream with abyssinia oil it's for coarse frizzy or relaxed hair I mentioned this to you guys before but I picked up another bottle because it is so freaking amazing it is so nourishing it is so hydrating if any of you guys have like over processed hair you dry it too much you curl it too much straighten it too much it's just coarse dry Whatever the case is, this stuff is amazing and it will do wonders for your hair. Like, you have no idea. It is so freaking good. So I picked up another bottle and I also had to pick up another one of my Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. I just ran out yesterday and thank goodness it just arrived because I go through these like crazy. Like, this must be my 25th jar I'm not kidding like this is my everyday body butter and my dogs go crazy for it it drives me mad actually because sorry I have a really stiff neck because they like just want to lick and 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 I'm like I gotta just like cover up after I put this on I buy the unscented version one because it's not a migraine trigger and it like legit is unscented and two you can layer whatever perfumes you want on and I just find that this is such a perfect formulation it's not like over moisturizing like some heavy body butters it sinks into the skin I don't it's just it's wonderful I love it and Josie Marin's cruelty free so props to her now I've never tried these and this was on Hope Look for a ridiculous low price uh, and I know Fusion Beauty is so expensive like 
for just like lip products and eye and like mascara like I know that it's like it can be like 50 bucks for a lip plumping gloss like it's stupid expensive but these were like ten dollars each like it was a steal like 90 percent off ridiculous exp ridiculously cheap so I thought I'd give it a shot so I got a Stimu Lash Fusion Lash Enhancing and Lengthening Mascara so I'm all about anything that's going to help with lash growth or was that like just smart marketing let me see nope formula helps to improve the thickness and length of lashes in as little as four to six weeks so this is actually supposed to have some benefits in the formulation of the mascara so I guess we shall see I do have my lap prairie open and my revita lash open so I'm not gonna open this one up for a while but that one arrived and then I have a lip fusion micro collagen lip plumping gloss and I picked up apparently the color her. I didn't even know that there was a shade. Ooh, that's pretty. So I got that color. And a lash enhancing long wear liquid eyeliner. And I just did the battle of the liquid eyeliners. I had no idea that this was coming. I would have waited a day. So let's see what it looks like. Oh. That could go either way. That could be amazing. That could be horrible. Let's hope that it is amazing. This again has the lash enhancing long wear liquid eyeliner. Uh, Sim peptide helps to improve the thickness and length of lashes over time. So I'm going to leave this out and I'm going to try it in my next tutorial and hope for the best. Oh man, I don't even know where to go from here. All right, I guess let's try this. I picked up the Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale from BH Cosmetics. It is a body bronzer. I'm all about body bronzers. Like I sell tan, but then I love adding body bronzers on top of myself tan whenever I'm going out somewhere if it's like not just like a nail appointment type of thing like I'm talking an event or something you know photos whatever it is and I've never tried this and I have been so addicted to BH cosmetics that I thought why not and it is a super affordable brand and right now is the worst timing possible to test this out as I just finished scrubbing off my tan. Whoa, that really came out. Because obviously this is going to look really funny on completely pale skin compared to putting it over top of a really pretty tan. I don't know how I feel about that smell. Like it's not bad. But there's something in it that isn't amazing. Keep in mind, guys, I'm at my, like, whitest white right now. This is, like, a really bad time to be demonstrating what this would look like. Because this would be much prettier over top of a tan. Like, I can tell that this would look gorgeous over a tan. Like, just, I can tell that would be really pretty over a tan. Okay. Okay. This will, I think this is going to be a, a win for sure. And it feels really, really nice. It's moisturizing too. I don't know, there's something like... I cannot, almost like baby food? I don't know. It doesn't say anything special about it. It's just the color is soaked in sun and I don't want to be soaked in sun but I can't be soaked in sun so I will take it. But look even that like working it into my really pale skin still gave a nice little glow. So that's definitely a good product. Now I already love the Fiona Styles Luminous Luminous Finish Foundation Concentrate. I love mixing shade 4 and 5 together. Uh, they've had a sale where this normally retails for $30, but Ulta's had it on sale for $15. Unfortunately, they've been out of stock on shade number 4, like forever. I've managed to snatch out 
one shade of number four and then I got two shades of number five so I got the second one of number five after mixing the two together and realized that that's like my perfect combo so that's right I got another one of those all right the Batiste uh, instant hair refresh dry shampoo sweet and delicious and sweetie this is so good and so inexpensive I already have one bottle of sweetie and I freaking love this I can't believe how good it is for how inexpensive it is and how much product you get because you get 200 milliliters or 6.73 ounces and this works amazing like it takes out every last bit of oil dirt grease whatever's in your hair and it just refreshes it and it is it smells really nice it is so good it's so affordable this is the first like not high-end dry shampoo that I have found that is so yummy so I bought another one in the shade or in the shade in the scent that I really enjoy and because I know that I love the formulation I thought I would try out the scent tropical which is coconut and exotic so let's see what this smells like Oh, that's good too. Damn. I, I think it's just going to be like, what's the mood of the day type of thing. So Tropical and Sweetie are both hits. I like them both. All right. And then I picked up, uh, again from Ulta, Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. 100% vegan and cruelty free. But now all I can smell is tropical. So uh, I don't know how this will work for the hair because it's hair and body mist. I don't know if it will make it like greasy or not. I hope not. Come on. Oh, I like that. That's a really nice refresher. No, like, really good. Oh, I love that. And that it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. That's so cool that it doubles as a hair and body refresher. Okay, I'm obsessed. And you can get it from Ulta. All right. And then something new from Ulta too, Real Techniques. Oh, by the way, Janet, I'm so sorry I haven't answered you on the Real Technique sponges. I've not been able to find them. So I'm going to try to answer you before this video goes up because I have no idea when this video goes up. But if I have not answered you by the time this video goes up, I've not been able to find the sponges that you're talking about. But while I was searching for those sponges, I found these sponges. They are the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. I don't know if that's something different, if they it's a collab or something, because I've never bought any Real Techniques before. And these are for the, they say eyes, two Miracle Mini Eraser Sponges. Erase Makeup Mishaps. Has a flat edge erase, a round side to buff and blend, a tip for a targeted sweep, and a round side to blend. So from flaking mascara to eyeshadow fallout, these little miracles helps help sweep away your makeup mishaps. Use damp to blend harsh lines or dry to pick up makeup. Replace every one to three months. Soft, flexible foam to help pick up any type of makeup. So I guess we shall see how good these little guys are. We had the light. But look how little and cute they are. So let me guys, let me know if you guys have tried these out and if they're any good. All right, I picked up two shades. These were on sale, so I thought this was the perfect time to test them out. And Afon actually wanted me to test these out too. 
They are the Japanesque Luminous Foundation Flawless Liquid Makeup. So I picked up shade 6 and 7. Uh, I was going to get 5 and 6, and then when I looked at 5, it actually looked like really, really white. So then I changed it to 6 and 7. So hopefully it's a good match. Oh, see? That's 6. Yes, yeah, so that's 6. So I think that's good. And you guys know I like to go darker anyway. And that's 7. See? That's so odd. So I'm going to put these to the test and I'm going to keep them out. So I will do a little mini video and let you guys know how hopefully good they are. And then I picked up uh, Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in Fawn. A pure mineral foundation that provides a buildable coverage with a flawless lightweight finish and anti-aging ingredients. Oh, I've never seen this kind of packaging from Becca before. What? Like, I've never seen that. That's what it looks like. Uh, I definitely purchased this as a setting powder, not as a foundation. It must have said online that it can also be used as a foundation. I don't know. I'll have to check some more. But I did not buy that to use as a foundation. So we will see. All right. Oh my goodness. I have an IPKN with Esther Loves You Twinkle Longwear Pen Eyeliner. I think this must have been maybe a like a included gift with something, gift with purchase. Oh my gosh. Apparently I should not have already finished the battle of the liquid eyeliners. <gasps> Alright, so there's two more already. Holy crap. Alright, I have the okay, this is another thing from Holt Look. See, this is all over the place. A lot of stuff's from Holt Look. This is the Pure Lip... I've never tried Pure... I got the Pure Eyeshadow Palettes from Holt Look. I still haven't tried them yet. And then I picked up some Pure Lip Glosses from Holt Look. I haven't tried any Pure products yet, though. So this is the Pure Lip Gloss in... Spoiled. It's a good name. Oh, it's a nice pink. That's like a Barbie pink. I like it. Let's see what this is like. Nice doe foot applicator. Oh, it's going to go right over the bronze. That's okay. Seems like it could be sticky, but we will see. I will put that to the test as well. Why is there a wine glass? Get plumper. Younger looking lips with this age-defying formula containing the rarest, <gasps> that's why, resveratrol, I can never pronounce that, but the red wine ingredient, uh, harvested from Bordeaux's renowned wine chateau, chateau, I mean, I'm getting tired, it's like 10 p.m., guys, bear with me, cruelty-free, we're all good. I picked up another number seven airbrush away pore minimizing primer because I've been obsessed with this one. This one has been so amazing and I think that it is actually a dupe. I'm looking for my makeup removing wipe that I have lost already. Um, I think that it is such an amazing dupe for uh, the Dr. Brandt pores, pores no more, pore, whatever is Dr. Brandt, Dr. Jar, shoot. I think it's Dr. Brandt, the really expensive one that's like 70 something bucks. This one has been working just as well, if not even better. So I've been obsessing over it and it is a lot less expensive. So I picked up a backup because that was on sale too. And then, oh, this was on sale too. And I've never tried anything Japanese. This is the Velvet Touch Blush Radiant Powder Cheek Color 
in number three. They don't like to give names, I guess. It's all in numbers. Well, that's fun packaging. Oh, that looks really pretty. That feels really nice, too. That's going to be a really soft flush of color. That's really pretty. Like, look, there's like gold hints in there. That could be a dupe for the MAC one that I'm obsessed with. That was a holiday edition only. The MAC Sweet Vision Magic Dust Powder that I'm always telling you guys about. Oh my God. Like not a complete dupe, but I bet you. Yeah, that one has like a little bit more gold in it. This is MAC. But that's pretty awesome. Like, that's a, the Japanese is a fraction of the cost, and MAC is no longer available. That was limited edition. And, I mean, it's obviously more intense, but that's pretty awesome. So that Japanese is number three, and I don't know, maybe they have a shade that would get you to an even closer match to the MAC. That's amazing. Okay, I'm really excited. Then I picked up the Becca Lip Priming Perfector. I love lip primers before. How did I get blue on me? Like seriously, where did blue come from? I don't even know. Um, I love lip primers before, oh this is a different kind of formulation, before a liquid lipstick. I think that that helps so much because liquid lipsticks are so drying. So that's what the applicator looks like and I will keep you guys posted if this is good or not. I got the last two shades. So my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Li Liquid Eyeshadows are complete. I now have every shade in their first release set and then the extra shades that Stila added on and then all of their shades in that like duochrome whatever they called it. So I had, I picked up, oh sorry, I was only missing this one. I picked up a backup of Gold Goddess because I'm obsessed with Gold Goddess and I, you just never know if it's going to be out of stock. And then Bronzed Bell, I did not have. <laughs> and now I have it. <laughs> did you notice my excitement? Okay, come on. You can't get open. Okay, that's gorgeous. Like, this is beautiful. I'm, this is another one I might need a backup of. <sighs> Janet, you need this one. Look at that bronziness. Oh my God. I'm in love that's going green right there so I can add it to the rest of my collection <gasps> like seriously I don't even want to take that off that's, that's just gonna hang out until it has to come off oh my god okay I also picked up a pure lipstick in a lister this is the same um, stuff with the red wine well that's fun packaging It says cheers. Oh, that's really fun. I don't know why I always feel need to have to like smell a lipstick. Oh, that's a very soft color. Like very soft. That's nice. And it's really, really creamy. Okay, I'm gonna keep that to try out tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I picked up three more of the BH Cosmetics glitter liners and you guys have already seen them. They only sell three shades but I am obsessed with them. These are the 
these three shades and this one is the one that I keep using in like my mermaid vibe videos but I, those three are these shades I just had to get a couple more because I placed an order and when you hit 50 bucks you get free shipping and if not shipping's like eight or nine dollars so I'm obsessed with those and they're like three bucks a piece so it was dumb to pay for shipping when I could just get a couple more glitters that I'm so gonna go through so I got that then this is also from Hope Look. Uh, I thought that this would actually be a really pretty combination. I love Deborah Lipman uh, nail polishes. Well, for my toes because I get my nails done. But to layer the gold down as a base and then to put that pink over top of it. So I picked up these because they were really inexpensive for what Deborah Lipman prices are. And I'm actually getting my nails done in two days. So I will try those out. Then I picked up an LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in 100 watts. Whoa, that's what it looks like. That looks, oh, that feels nice too. That's creamy and that looks really promising. That looks very, very promising. I like that a lot. I'm very impressed. Okay. Because the LA Girl was a major miss with both of the liquid eyeliners that I tried out. And that looks beautiful. So hopefully this is a win. I'm going to add that to the stash to try out. Oh my gosh. All right. Lime Crime released a few new uh, Diamond Crusher shades. So of course I had to pick them up. They released acid fairy so let's check her out oh that has mermaid written all over it you guys can't there we go probably even make that out all the way oh my gosh yes this has mermaid written all over it these smell every shade it the, the formulation in this is gorgeous the formulation in diamond crushers smells so good and lime crime is also cruelty free look at that yes that is for your lips is that not like beautiful i know it's like blinding like you can barely even make it out but it is pink i can't even get you a shot where it's not blinding oh my god I need I need more space. I need a bigger makeup room. I need a I need a bigger beauty room. And then I picked up Cleopatra. I believe that they released a third shade, but I wasn't interested in that color. Oh my god, this one looks really fun. This is like gold, bronze, pink, it has a green shift. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. This looks so good. It's so good. These are so good. It's down here. Look at that. Can you believe those are for your lips? I'm such a kid. It's so ridiculous. I I such like mm -hmm. Okay, and then the Lime Crime also has uh, some new lipsticks. So I got Mir uh, Mirage. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty, like their whole packaging. Look at all the flowers. Like it's just, isn't that like the prettiest lipstick tube? Ooh, I like that. That poor dog is outside barking again. I swear to God, the neighbors never bring it in. That is beautiful. <gasps> And I love these tones, like love those. Oh, and these formulations are so creamy and amazing and just, okay. And then the other shade I picked up is Third Eye. Ooh, does that one look stunning and like just perfection for fall and winter? Oh my gosh, yes. 
I'm so excited about this haul so far. I can't even tell you things. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. All right, so you guys know how I got the TARDIS Pro Glitter Liner in Rose Gold. Well, you know how they first released it in white gold and silver, and they they retail for $24. Since they re they launched their new color, they put these babies on sale for $12. So I picked up both of the shades because I didn't get them when they launched. I didn't think that they were that amazing. And then when I tested out the rose gold, I was like, these are so good. Why did I not buy the other shades? And I went on Tarte's website right away to see if they were still available. And they were on sale. So I like got two for one. So here's white gold. my god that looks so gorgeous yeah like it just did not look this amazing online it just did not do it justice oh my god I can't wait to use these <gasps> and then silver oh, I'm so well it's good that oh look at that it's good that they didn't depict them well online because I would have bought them at the $24 mark and instead it's like I got one for free. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh, this was on sale too from Ulta. Fiona Styles has a bronzer, so I was very interested in trying that out and especially because it was on sale, so that was the time to get it. My nail literally feels like it's going to break off. So this is called the Fiona Styles Bronzing Sun Veil. And I, oh, Ian. Uh, Heiko? A-H-I-K-O. I, I butcher this all the time. Oh, I love her packaging. This looks like it's broken though because there's powder everywhere. Oh, it's not, okay does not look like a bronzer. Well, it does, but like a very light, 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 light. Hmm. Um. Like, I mean, if, okay, there we go. It's buildable. Okay. Okay. At first I did one swatch and I couldn't even see it. Okay, so that's built. Okay, that looks like a really good bronzer, like a perfect bronzer, actually. It's not ashy, it's not orangey. This actually looks amazing. Yeah. One of my dogs so just farted. I really hope that you guys can, are gonna be able to hear that in the footage because that was hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna try that out. Oh my gosh, I have so much that I'm like leaving out to try out, hopefully like tomorrow. I'm gonna have to clean this hand up, okay. Say goodbye to all of this goodness because it has to go. Now, I have four shades that I want to try out. This is the Estee Edit Metal Shadow. Like, literally, it literally is Metal Shadow. All in one word. <laughs> Cream and powder. Uh, these are the same concept as like the Dose of Colors and that Tom Ford one that I put to the test. So I picked up number four, Solar Blast. So you have the deep cream top coat or cream base. And then you have what the holes are like and the shimmer. Look at that. Yes. My type of baby. <laughs> We're going to be trying that one out. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, MAC released some metallic lipsticks, so I picked up a Foiled Rose. I did not know what these would be like, so I didn't pick up too many shades, but I did want to at least test out one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, I should be swatching the other way because the ridges in my hand suck. This is really pretty actually. Like not, it's not very foil. It, like it's foil, but it's not like that overkill foil. Like it's like a really cool effect. I think I'm gonna really, really enjoy this. Like I like that shade a lot, actually. Like a lot, a lot. And it's just standard packaging. 
I'm running out of places for everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna take me a second to get into. I've been wanting to try this brush for so long. This is for Ulta though, the It brush. It is the All Over Powder Brush, complexion number 211 by uh, It Brushes for Ulta, and they're cruelty free. So let me open this baby up and I'll be right back. Oh my God, look at this brush. It says love beauty fully in pink. Then it has it brushes for Ulta in little, but look at this powder brush. Oh, like, oh my God. Trying this tomorrow too. I can't believe it took me so long to buy this. This is so beautiful. Look at the size of this. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, we're getting... There goes the Becca lip primer. <laughs> All right. These are all Janet's fault. All of these. I blame you. <laughs> she told us about the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powders and how absolutely amazing these are and that they were like crazy must-haves and then whoa oh, hold on and that oh did I just lose one no okay I'm trying to open them while talking to you guys and that they were um, on sale at Ulta for it was like buy one get one half off they keep wanting to roll down my legs as I'm opening the packaging and that these were also amazing as eyeshadows. So for me, I am totally, a, you know, I don't, I will highlight to the sky all day long, but then if these double as incredible eyeshadows, that is such a bonus. I'm on my last one to open and then we're going to swatch these babies. All right. So this one is Lavender Steel. That's what it looks like. Oh, these feel so creamy. Oh, oh my gosh. Looks so creamy. Oh, I just saw like when my hand moved, the reflect. Look at that. I can see how that would be a beautiful eyeshadow or highlight. That one's a win. The next one is Crushed Bloom. My nail's still gonna be broken by the time I get to my nail appointment. Look how gorgeous these look. And they're so creamy. Like, so creamy. This is gorgeous too. This is like such a nice peachy tone. Look at that. Oh. Hold on, I don't want this. Camera wants to focus on my face and not on this. Still pretty. Okay, then we have Snow Rose. I can't even wait for what this is going to transform into. pretty. Why am I having such a hard time right now? I can't catch the light. I have to put that in a better place because like you guys have to see what I'm seeing and I don't know if the camera's catching it right. Look at that. It, like you just see this like beautiful pink sheen running through that. Is that not out of this world? Oh my gosh, these are just beautiful. You were right, Laura. You were right. You know, wipe my hand off for the last two. Oh my God. NYX is amazing. Like they are, I can't believe that they are still a drugstore brand and haven't somehow worked their way into the high end industry because their products are high end. There's just, they are. Uh, then I have a Twilight Tint. This is gonna have blue shift in it. 
mermaid anybody? I'm obsessed with this one too. Oh my goodness. Not enough days. Not enough days. Man, I'm getting ahead of myself. The last one is Synthetica. Look at that. I just, I just, I just, I just. I just. Look how blinding these are. And these are just like, you know, wet finger swatches. Look at that. These will be amazing eyeshadows and incredible highlighters and amazing eyeshadows. Oh my God. I love you, Laura. You find the best products and give the best advice and you're just on it. You just know it and oh my, I just, I want to play with all of these right now. I see, like, there seriously are not enough days in a week, in a year, and I just, ah. All right, here we go. I'm also going to be doing a brow gel video for you guys. I've got a whole bunch already. Like, I have the Anastasia, obviously. I've got Benefit. I've got NYX. I have Dior. I have, oh my gosh. I know I have another one in here. I don't see it right now. I have a few. So I picked up another one that uh, Billion Dollar Brows. Brow gel. I have never heard of it. This one I found on Holt Look as well. So I am testing out a bunch for you guys along the way. So that's what it looks like. I have not found a dupe for Anastasia, but I have found a dupe for all of the other ones. Like, to, I found things that are better than Benefit and Dior. I just haven't found anything better than Anastasia yet, but I'll put that up front to make sure that that gets tested out. Holy crap. Okay, let's just go for this. This is LA Splash. There's a lot from, oh, hold on. This came actually, this was free with the big it brush that I got. They sent me this little itty bitty one. It was a free gift. Oh my gosh. I think this is gonna be awesome to keep. In Hold on a second. I was saying I think that this could be awesome to keep in a handbag because a cosmetic brushes are so awesome and do like quick little wipes look at that that's perfect so I was really excited when I saw that you got a little free it cosmetic brush because I love it cosmetics all right on to LA splash so there's quite a few goodies from them actually they had like big bundle deals going on which I think is also from Laura because of Laura how to apply. Begin by priming desired, desired area with our Till Midnight Elixir. Let set for 30 seconds before gently dabbing on diamond dust. Oh. Oh, I wonder if I have any of these shades already. Because I have a few that I have not tried yet that I've bought at, nope, I don't have this one. <laughs> at iMats, I st and I still, I bought like a, five of these at IMAX September 2016 and I still haven't tried them yet. Oh my gosh. This has mermaid vibes written all over it. This is the shade Earth. So you can see that green. It, these are like glitters, so that's not really like anything I can swatch. Sonic purple. These look really pretty. Okay, I'm very happy that these are not doubled up. And if they were doubled up, they just go in a giveaway. Oh 
Wisp. That's like a, this zone looks more like a pigment actually than a glitter. Like a really nice champagne though. And then I got this LA Splash Lash Tease. Ooh. Five pair kit with glue included. I just thought it'd be worth checking out another brand and seeing how they work, but now that I'm looking at these up close, none of these are really my style at all. Hmm. I guess the first two kind of are. The other ones aren't though. I don't know. I guess let you know what. Leave a comment below if you guys, if anybody would like to have eyelash like falsies included in a giveaway, because. I think I would really only have use for the first two and that would be a shame so let me know below and if it's not this giveaway then I will do it for the next giveaway. Then in that bundle there was another one Celestial. This is like a rose gold pink or a rose oh my god a rose a gold pink oh my god, I'm too tired now it's like 11 p.m. I'm way too tired to be talking a, a a pinky rose oh my god a golden rose that's what I'm trying to say color that looks so pretty I'm really excited to try all of these out holy crap all right, then I got two liquid lipsticks that are called Wickedly Divine, shade number 906. I have that headache coming on. Oh my goodness. This is probably the best packaging I've ever seen. Look at that tip. It actually has like that edge and a rhinestone and then look at that whole tube and then the base of that and how it's like clear and red that is probably seriously like the most fun packaging I think I've ever seen oh that's dark okay this is a fall winter vampy shade look at that <laughs> That is definitely not spring summer vibes at all. Does it stand up? Oh, it stands up, but that's going to end up falling over, so I'm just going to lay it down. And then the other shade is number 905. It can't be that big of a difference in color. Oh, no, there is. This looks like a very nudie pink. This packaging is just so freaking cool. Okay, this one is a year-round wearable nude. How is 905 and 906? That's runny though. That dip, like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> they both look really great, so hopefully the formulation is really nice. Oh my goodness, apparently I also ordered, because like, this haul is from March, so I just haven't filmed yet, but this is like weeks ago. I got the LA Splash Sinfully Angelic Diamond Lip Glosses. I got five of them. Okay. 808 Divinity Div Divine Divine it, divine it, divine tea. I don't know. I, I'm crashing hard. Oh my god, look at that! This is the best. I had this one has a pink gem, it's pink and it's gold, and that is pink and sparkly gold. This is the best lip gloss packaging I have ever seen in my life and I really hope this is like amazing lip gloss. It doesn't have like crazy pigmentation. It doesn't have like 
much of a smell at all. It's very light and sheer and very like angelic, but that is so pretty. <gasps> all right, well that's off to a good start. Let, yeah. Then we have 809 Embryel. It's weird how they gave names. <sighs> all right, when they call these diamond lip glosses, they are not joking. These are freaking gorgeous. But like, these need to be on display, like their own little cubby hole of just beautifulness. See, these are really hard to swatch because they don't have like color in them. See how that's just like a little bit of a white glitter topper. You can see the gloss. So it gives you a little something. Somebody just started the car outside, so the dogs are going to be working. Okay, 801 Afriel. These are the weirdest names. Oh, they are liars. There is nothing diamond lip gloss about this except the diamond on the top. But I bet you that this would pair beautifully with the first two that I swatched. Yep. If you if this was a base and then the other, it's okay, Lou. And then the other two are able to glide over top of it. That would be a beautiful combination. And on its own, that's a really awesome nudie pink too. Then we have 805 Cassie L. I am so obsessed with this packaging. This one's not glittery, glittery either. Ooh, I like this color a lot. Like a lot. Here we go. Oh, I so hope that those are, like the, the glittery ones are gonna be able to go over top of those pigment ones really easily. And the last one is 807 Gleam. At least that one was easy to pronounce. Well, this is a diamond one. It's a bronzy diamond one. This is really pretty. This is like really pretty. Perfection for summertime, bronzed and kissed with sun and glow and oh. Okay, well these seem so promising. <sighs> okay, well, there's still one more stash from LA Splash. Diamond Eyeliner Bundle. <gasps> yeah, see I thought that these were all bundles because they came bundled and I'm like, I wouldn't have put like the different stacks it just seemed like they were bundles. It's just been too long. I'm like having heart palpitations. Do you see this? Do you see this glitter? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And the packaging again, like the purple metallic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, god. my glitter obsession is only growing stronger by the day. That is so freaking beautiful. <gasps> I didn't even tell you what that was. Pink sparkles. That was made for mama. Oh my god, this gold though. It's hard to read them. Chandelier. Like seriously, look how beautiful. So reflective. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to test these out and I just so hope that they don't cause any kind of irritation because these are fabulous. Look at that gold. Oh, and then the last one is Abyss.
Ooh, that is definitely way more black pigment than sparkle. There's sparkle in there, but it is definitely black. That won't be like coating over a little extra glitter. That is, <laughs> that's a lot of pigment. All right, we are done with LA Splash, I think. Yes. All right, after Janelin told me about the glam liners by NYX, I bought a bunch that you guys saw in one haul and then I picked up the remaining shades that they have because they are really freaking awesome. And now that I'm doing mermaid vibe looks because it's spring and summertime, I needed some more mermaid vibe looks to go with it. So I've got some more of those to add to the collection. I think I might actually have all of the shades now. Thanks, Janelin. You're you're adding to my makeup addiction problems just like um, Janet is now. All right, we are down to palettes. Got three for Makeup Revolution. I just I know I know I know. Okay, I know. I picked up Flawless. Flawless. Resurrection and Flawless 2. And this is going to take me a moment to cut into, so I will be right back. Alright, let's start with a Flawless. I'm really excited to get into these. Like, just look at that. Look at that rose gold reflective packaging is like, I'm already sold. Oh, there's some more packaging. I think this is, okay, that's easy. That is like sexy and sleek. Go makeup revolution. They have the shades on like the throwaway, but it is like a nice size mirror. And look at these babies. Like seriously, those look amazing. We're swatching a couple, just a couple. Oh my God, they're so creamy. <sighs> Even though I'm gonna end up doing a full on swatch when I do a look with this palette. These are amazing. You guys, these are so creamy. Oh my gosh. I want to do like a full on swatch right now. Throw in a matte. I need more fingers. There's one glitter shade. Guys, I came with a little ham on the metallics. I didn't even mean to. I just like swirled my finger in there and then it just kept coming off and coming off and coming off and coming off. But look at those. That one is the one that has like glitter in it. That was just a random matte. And then of course I picked some of the metallic shades up. <gasps> These are incredible. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this is amazing. This is an amazing, 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 amazing. And do you see like all the transition shades? This palette looks like it's perfection. Like it is, this one looks like it is a flawless palette. Oh my god. That's just the first one. Okay, we're gonna get into flawless two, which is hot pink metallic reflective packaging. I'm such a child, I know. I know, I know this, I already know it. so gorgeous like normally when you have drugstore brand packaging it is not this sexy this is beautiful there goes the slip not that I'm ever gonna end up keeping that this is totally different and so beautiful look at this pink I'm like I want that all over my eye we're swatching that one, obviously. My hand is getting so raw now. Oh my gosh. 
This is a really pretty pink. It has like orange shift in it. It is really cool. Like really cool. I've never seen a shade like that. It's a duochrome. <gasps> Without me even knowing that it was duochrome. These are so creamy. It's a random blue. These are really nice too. <gasps> I need more days. I need more days, guys. I need more days. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do because my hand is actually like really hurting. Like no joke, it's actually painful right now from like, because I've been filming like crazy. I did a whole bunch of mini videos too. So this hand has been like white probably 50 times and it's actually hurting now. And we still have more to go. And then the Flawless Resurrection. Oh my God, this is like the perfect pink shade. This is like, I love this pink. Like if I ever had like a makeup line, a fashion line, like I've even dreamt like, you know how Louboutin is a red soul? Mine would be like a shade kind of like this, not the, not the metallic, but it would be a hot pink soul and it would have like glitter and like a one heart crystal right in the arch on the upper arch so that you wouldn't like lose it or anything. I already thought it all through. This just reminded me of that. Dream big, right guys? Oh my God, they changed the packaging on the, this one because it's the Flawless 3 Resurrection. I'm so excited by Flawless 1, 2, and 3. But if I can open it, look how they changed it. This is like a really light rose gold. What's it gonna look like inside? Oh my God. Warm toned eye dream. As you guys can see like everything that's happening down there. <gasps> oh. This actually has a lot of mattes in it. I was not expecting that, but this looks beautiful, of course. But, holy crap. Oh my god, my hands. I have no skin left. Let's see some of the mattes. Since I always show you guys the metallics, let's check out some mattes. Oops, I just went over one of the metallics. That's okay. This is going to be a really pretty palette to work with. Just a couple. There's one gold. Oh, gold. But look at those. These are going to be so pretty. Sorry, there's a chunk I didn't swatch it right. Oh my god. Like, I'm not even going to know what to reach for. Like, I just. <laughs> I know. I have, like, I know you guys really feel sorry for me, right? I know. <laughs> But this like really hurts. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's still three more palettes. Now this one's really funny because Laura just commented yesterday. And again, this is going to be probably go up like three weeks from the day that I'm filming. But... As of today, Laura commented yesterday saying, or telling me, I don't know, commented I think about Take Me to Brazil from BH Cosmetics being on one of her palette lists. And then I was like, ah, I just received it. And I, well, I haven't had a chance to reply back yet. So hopefully I can put some looks together and see what it's like for her ahead of time. Oh my goodness. This is a very different BH Cosmetic palette. So you have a little, little mirror, but it folds over. Look at that. Two huge shades at the bottom. I've never seen that. And look at all of those colors. 
one amazing row of metallics and then all these mattes and then a couple random sparkle shades. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is actually a little bit powdery. Once you work it though, I mean, it's not. Like it, you know, it blends. But this is actually the first powdery beach cosmetic one that I have. Like they're all starting out really powdery. It doesn't necessarily mean anything though. Oh my God, this pink though. <sighs> Let me see the other pink. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. I've got purple. This one's a little bit chalky. I'm not gonna lie. Like the metallic obviously isn't, but the mattes are a little bit chalky. I mean, like I said, that obviously does not always translate at all all when you're actually doing your eyes that's happened so many times where it's just started off chalky and it just wasn't like that once the application process started but the swatches are definitely chalky and I was not expecting that because BH Cosmetics has killed it with every palette that I have so we will see with this one. Oh my gosh then I got the BH Cosmetics Urban Luxe 99 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I have a problem. Serious problem. The BH Cosmetics is like cheap. It's not even affordable or inexpensive. It's cheap. And you get so much and it's so high quality in the, like their pigmentation. It's crazy. Oh my god. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, 99 shades. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm like overwhelmed right now. There's like everything in here. Oh my gosh. I'll have to like dedicate a swatching video to this because this is just insanity. And my hand is killing and there's just way too many shades. That does not seem very sturdy. I'm going to move that over there. And then because Oh, that's right. I also picked up a bronzer. It's called from Beach Cosmetics. They're Satin Bronzer in Natural Finish Bronzer. I thought I'd give this a go because, like I said, Beach Cosmetics has been killing it for me aside from their uh, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. That's fun packaging. Oh, that looks like a really nice color. Okay, we'll be trying that out too. So I'm just going to keep that and feeling the styles together and we will see how that works. And then they actually gave me two gifts for our, from ordering from BH Cosmetics. Look at the size of this powder puff. Is that not amazing? And then they actually gave me a quad of blushes. That was a free gift. Like BH Cosmetics, where did I put my scissors? Oh my god, they've been sitting like down there like this. Um, BH Cosmetics is already so cheap and then to include gifts with purchases like that and then free shipping I mean it obviously you have to buy a lot to hit $50 but for instance like I placed an order yesterday and my order was uh, $42 so shipping was $8 but if you hit $50 it was free and that palettes were on sale for $9. I'm like, okay, well that is stupid. I'm not paying $8 shipping when I can add on another $9 palette instead of paying for shipping. So I added on an extra palette instead of paying for shipping. But that I could not believe that I got 
these like two free gifts with a $50 purchase. So this powder puff is amazing. It's huge. And then a quad of blushes. And these look stunning. Like really nice. And super creamy. Uh, did I? So those are the four shades. And I already have one blush by them that I really like. So I'm, there's no way that the formulation can be different. So there are the four shades. And do they tell you what the colors are? No, unfortunately they don't. But this is the blushed to go for color blush palette because I'm sure you can purchase it too but I can't tell you guys what the shades are but the blush that I have is their floral blush oh so I guess it could be a different formulation because this is has that duo flower in it but I mean that is amazing that they gave you a gift too I just I could I was blown away by that Okay, these scissors need to move. And last but not least, I got my very first Zoeva palette and I picked up the Warm Spectrum eyeshadow palette. There's one other one that I want to get, but I did want to test it out first to make sure that I like Zoeva palettes before buying a bunch because I've never worked with Zoeva palettes before. So, oh, well, there's no mirror. For the price point, you would have thought that there'd be a mirror but these shades look really, really pretty. So I'm hoping, let's see. Wow, that's creamy. It's the last palette. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm already impressed. Okay, I gotta put this down. That is too hard to do. Uh, it's like a duochrome. Oh my god, I have like makeup still. Okay, I need a new makeup wipe apparently because it's not coming off now. All right, well here's three of the shades, so you can see that like that I want all over my lid. That is gorgeous. That duochrome is like the most interesting duochrome I've ever seen, ever. That green and brown shift like I've seen green and brown before but that is like intense but those two are so beautiful oh my gosh okay so this this looks like it's gonna be a win 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 oh my god we are done I'm so exhausted. This was a beautiful unboxing. I was not expecting this to be like this amazing even though my hand is raw and I am about to start bleeding because I don't think I have any layer of skin left. Oh my god. Like literally it is burning. Uh, but that's okay. Price of beauty, right? <laughs> I'm like legit overwhelmed. I can't believe it. Cause like I accumulate things too before I do a haul video. Like, you know, I, as I'm buying it, I'll like throw it and throw it in a drawer. So that way then I'll slim and I'll just do one big unhaul unboxing, sorry, unboxing haul video. But like I said, these purchases are all from March. This is not April that I just haven't filmed it yet. I've been dealing with the other stuff so anyway that is it for this video thank you so much if you guys managed to stick it out for the whole time please give this a thumbs up if you liked it please share please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time good night good morning wherever you are i love you guys so much and i will talk to you later bye